smashing Rohit. Feels good. <laughs> <laughs> In early July at ITE College Central, teams from the Straits Times and Singapore Polytechnic gather for a special project. To capture the lethal smash technique of 2021 World Badminton Champion, Lo Ken Yu. To do this requires 3D motion capture technology. We took around two hours to set up the badminton court, as well as the motion capture suit, as well as the camera setup that we need to use. Aside from documenting the session, Straits Times assistant sports editor Rohit Bridgenath has been assigned an additional key role. So really my job today is as uh, Loken News uh, hitting partner, which is a pretty nice thing to be with uh, somebody who is the world champion in badminton. And so basically what we're trying to do is look at it from every angle, look at the height that he gets, the arch of his back, the rotation of his shoulder, just trying to break down the smash because he is especially when he's smashing well, one of the world's best smashers, even though, of course, he will tell you that, you know, there are people much better than him because he's a lovely, modest guy. The first task for Loka New is to step into ITE's full body 3D scanning chamber. One, two, three. We first did a 3D scan of him to create a 3D model of his body. Then the Singapore Poly team straps him up with a number of sensors in key areas to capture his movement. We strapped him with motion capture sensors so that we could uh, create motion capture data of his smash. What the end product will be looking like is that we'll be combining his 3D model and the motion capture data we have to create an uh, animated uh, virtual figure of Lo Kenyu jumping. Of course, not everything is about science. My students are involved in this. I think they were quite excited, in fact, very excited to meet him to actually uh, put the sensor on his body so that, you know, close proximity, uh, they are quite excited about him. <laughs> I also play badminton, so uh, I think I saw his matches, uh, excellent player. So to see him face to face, uh, putting the rig on him, my, my colleague is doing it, but it's a, it's a good experience. However, the scanning process is quite intricate. What motion capture does is to translate the movements of your body into a skeleton and that skeleton is connected to a 3D model which will move according to the skeleton. It could be about an hour, the whole process, uh, just capturing uh, the whole movement. In the post-production, uh, that will take a bit longer. Motion capture is never 100% accurate, it's about 80% or so. So what happens in the post-production is they will tweak it to make it as smooth as possible. Capturing Loka Yu in action this way will help analyse exactly what gives his smashes such power. Can you has hit shuttlecocks at over 400 kilometers an hour. Yet it's not the first time that Lo Can Yu has had the scanning treatment. I think I did it in 2021. Yeah, before Olympics that time, if I'm not wrong. I did it with SSI, Singapore Sports Institute. And we did it for to find out like how same thing like how I smash, how do I generate my strength, how can I improve, how can I smash better. So the difference between that time and this time is I get to wear a shirt this time. Yeah. <laughs> Doing a smash, we want to kill off the opponent, we want to gain point from it, so we would like to be in a good position. We want to be behind the shuttle so that we can move forward while we hit. We can do a stronger smash like that, yeah, rather than an uh, out of position kind of smash. Why we do double leg? Because we get, generate more strength from the leg, and then from the leg up to the body, and then we back, kill, smash down. To kill your opponent with a smash, to Gain a point from that, I think it's pretty satisfying. Yeah, it just feels good uh, and also quite cool, I think. You can see how everything comes together in ST's interactive analysis at straightstimes.com. <laughs>